Have you ever wondered if bumper stickers could give us good advice? That's what we'll talk about today. Free advice is often overpriced. Charles McKenzie. I thought we'd do something fun because we've been doing some long series, some serious topics, and so I thought a little bit of fun might be had in bumper stickers. If you don't know me, I'm one of these people who looks for advice everywhere I can find it. Billboards, bumper stickers, scrawlings on the wall, good advice is everywhere. So here are some of my favorite religious bumper stickers that I thought had some good advice. The first one is pretty simple. Pray. That love thy neighbor thing? I meant it. Sign God. Yep, God means it. We should love our neighbors. Another bumper says, blessed. I hope that person's blessed. I hope you feel blessed. We are all blessed. Honk if you love Jesus. Text if you want to see him. That is some really good advice. There used to be bumper stickers that say, honk if you love Jesus, and people would do it just for fun. But texting while driving? Yep, you'll see, you'll see him sooner for sure. He is risen, indeed. And that's Easter time? Absolutely. God wants you to produce fruits, not nuts. Yeah, don't, don't make anybody nuts. Just do good fruits. Exercise daily. Walk with the Lord. See, that is good advice. Every day is a blessing. Bumper sticker is also right. Every day is a blessing. Here's a good one. Do you follow Jesus this closely? <laughs> I love the bumper stickers about people tailgating each other. Let's hope we all follow Jesus as closely as we follow the car in front of us. Or people follow us. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. See? That's absolutely true. When you drive like I do, you better believe in God. Well, there you see, we don't want those people on the road because they're terrible drivers, but I'm glad they believe in God. No problem is too big for God. Absolutely true. See, there's good bumper stickers out there. Got Jesus? It's hell without him. Okay, see, I see what that person did there. Give God what is right, not what is left. See, that was another interesting deep thought about giving God the right things in our lives and not just the leftovers. Good job, bumper sticker. Follow me. I know the one who knows the way. Oh, that's good too. God bless the world. No exceptions. Absolutely. God blesses this world. God cares for every person. Good advice. When temptation knocks, send Jesus to the door. Oh, see? More good advice. God is at the end of your rope. I like that. Because a lot of times people feel like they're at the end of their rope. But you know who's there? God, waiting to catch you. Jesus loves the little children, whether they're honor students or not. See, I think that honor student bumper sticker just gets everyone upset. Make a joyful noise, sing in the car. <laughs> and I've seen people do it before, too. God grades on a cross, not on a curve. Very good. ASP, always say a prayer. I see what you did there. That's good. One cross plus three nails equals four given. Oh, a little math humor there. Plus, remembering that Jesus has forgiven us. I think that's great. If you kneel before God, you can stand before anyone. I hope that's true. I hope that our faith in God makes us bold to stand up for whatever is going to confront us in our lives. When there's no way out, let God in. Nice. Have truth decay? 
brush up on your Bible. See, there's a little dentistry humor there. Good job. I don't know who thought of that. If going to church makes you a Christian, does going to a garage make you a car? Now, I think that person was being a little bit um, aggressive towards Christians, but I think that the point is good. God is my designer and Jesus is my lawyer. (laughs) That's really good. Catch up with Jesus. Let us praise. Get it? It's a little like a vegetable joke there. I saw that, dash God. See, Jesus sees everything. Make heaven crowded. That's exactly right. We want heaven to be as crowded as possible. Be joyful. God is at work. Absolutely. You need Jesus, y'all. Perfect. You know, I had a t-shirt that said that, and I believe it firmly. Y'all need Jesus. So in the other podcast, I did a segment on bad bumper sticker advice. But unfortunately, the bad bumper sticker advice is too naughty, too many uh, words I won't say on a clean podcast for us to do here. We'll just leave it at this. The one piece of advice that I thought was bad but clean was God is my co-pilot. But then I found another bumper sticker that said, if God is your co-pilot, switch seats. There, they fixed it. That's perfect. God should be the pilot of your life, not just the co-pilot. So I know this was a short podcast and I appreciate you listening. Like I said, on smallstepspod.com, I also did a similar one of personal development bumper stickers. And so if you like this, you could go listen to that podcast and see what other bumper stickers were out there. But my challenge to you is look around and see if you can see free advice about God and the world he created and his love for us just by looking around. You can send them to me. My email is jill at smallstepswithgod.com. I finally fixed my email so I can actually send emails and not just get emails. But let me know what you find and let me know what bumper stickers you like. And just remember that a bumper sticker is free advice and helps us drive down the road by taking small steps. 